What started as a typical afternoon helping dad turned into a heart-stopping encounter that would leave a young boy questioning the very nature of reality. Who or what was following him up those stairs? Hello, hello. I am Arudai and welcome to Moonskull. If you're looking for tales of horror, the paranormal, sci-fi, and the unexplained, then you are in the right place. I'll tell you 4,500 wonderful fear addicts, as well as the 30% of you closet horror buffs who still haven't subscribed yet, the story I just mentioned. But first, let me show you how you can show us your support. If you enjoy our spine-tingling tales and want to keep the nightmares coming, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. You can also support us by using the donation link on the screen, which can be found in the description of the video. Your support helps us keep bringing you these wild stories from the unknown. And if you have your own spooky tale to share, don't hesitate to submit your story in our Discord. Now, let's hop into Kevin's chilling tale. It was a typical weekend afternoon, and young Kevin was excited to help his father work on the family car. It was a bonding experience he cherished, and today's task was simple enough. Fetch the ratchet from the basement. With youthful enthusiasm, he dashed down the creaky stairs, feeling the familiar chill of the basement air as he pulled the heavy door shut behind him. After a brief encounter with a disgruntled spider and clearing away its webbing, Kevin found the ratchet set tucked away on a shelf. He could feel the thrill of accomplishment as he clutched it tightly in his arms. But as he turned to head back upstairs, a strange unease washed over him. The basement was dim, filled with shadows that seemed to shift and stretch. Shaking off the feeling, he took a deep breath and began his ascent. As he reached the top landing, the warmth of sunlight spilled through the open door to the driveway, illuminating the staircase. His dad was busy tinkering away, the soothing sound of the radio filling the air with talk and laughter. But just as he took a step forward, a sudden unsettling sound sliced through the afternoon. Thudding footsteps echoed behind him, each beat growing louder and faster as if someone was racing up the stairs. Heaven's heart pounded. Confusion set in. Had someone else come down to the basement with him? He turned to look, but when he did, there was nothing. No one was there. The air felt thick with an unshakable tension, and Kevin's imagination began to spiral. He rushed into the living room, trying to convince himself that it was just the house settling, or perhaps a trick of the mind. Later that evening, while his family gathered around for dinner, Kevin couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. As they laughed and talked, he stole glances at the basement door, now closed, and he could have sworn he heard faint whispers drifting up from below. They were too soft to understand, but he felt their presence curling around him like smoke. His dad caught him staring and raised an eyebrow, but Kevin quickly shook his head, pushing the thought away. That night, as he lay in bed, sleep came soundly. The house creaked and groaned, settling into the cool night, and just as he was about to drift off, he heard it again. The rapid thud, 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 thud of footsteps rushing up the stairs. Panic surged through him, and he bolted upright in bed, wide awake. This time, he didn't dare look. He just clutched his blanket tightly and held his breath, hoping whatever it was would pass him by. But the footsteps stopped at the top of the stairs, lingering there, and he could almost feel a cold breeze wafting up through his room. The following day, Kevin gathered his courage and asked his dad about the noises. Dad, he began, have you ever heard anything strange coming from the basement? His father chuckled dismissively, waving it off as the house's age playing tricks. It's just old pipes, buddy. Don't worry about it, he said. But for Kevin, that was just the beginning. A few days later, while playing video games with his friends, he decided to head down to the basement to grab a soda. As he walked down the stairs, he felt that familiar chill seep into his bones. And just like before, he turned to go back up when he thought he heard it again. Those footsteps. This time, they were almost right behind him, quickening as he moved. He spun around, heart pounding, but the basement remained silent. He hesitated for a moment before racing back upstairs, slamming the door shut behind him, the echoes of his own footsteps drowning out everything else. 
The atmosphere in the house grew heavier with each passing day. Each creak and groan felt amplified as if the house itself was alive and breathing. Kevin's unease morphed into dread. He started to wonder if the basement held something dark, something that had been disturbed by his presence. Just the thought of it made him shiver. As the sun set that evening, he couldn't shake the feeling that he was not alone. That night, after a restless few hours of tossing and turning, he heard the thudding again. This time, he could hear a low whisper, just faint enough to be indistinguishable. It felt as if it was beckoning him to come closer. The next morning, he finally mustered the courage to confront his dad again. Dad, I really think something's in the basement, he said, urgency creeping into his voice. But his father only chuckled again, brushing it off. It's only your imagination, kid. Don't worry about it. As Kevin stared at the basement door one last time, he knew he couldn't stay in the house much longer. The whispers haunted him, and the footsteps taunted him. For the next few weeks, the sounds did not return, and he did his best to avoid the basement, but he could still feel that presence lurking just below the surface, waiting for the right moment to emerge. And there you have it, folks. A haunting tale of a seemingly normal house with a dark secret buried in its basement. What do you think happened to Kevin? Was it just a trick of the mind, or was something lurking down there under the basement stairs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you want more of this kind of wild paranormal real life madness, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe, because we've got plenty of more where this came from. I'm Arudai, and until next time, stay curious, stay cautious, and remember, sometimes the scariest things are the ones we can't explain.